Nick Saban took to the podium after Alabama's loss to Auburn in the Iron Bowl on Saturday and called the only possible play he had left, he lobbed. I think this team deserves an opportunity to get in the playoff by what they've been able to accomplish and what they've been able to do, Saban said after the Tide's 26-14 loss. They won 11 games, and not many teams are able to do that. I really don't know what all the scenarios might be where we'd have an opportunity to do it, but I'd certainly like to see this team get an opportunity to do it. Alabama will likely fall out the college football playoff top four for the first time when the new rankings are revealed Tuesday night, 7 p.m. ET on ESPN and ESPN app. With no conference championship game to play in this weekend, that means the Tide will need help if they're to avoid missing the playoff for the first time. The fates of Alabama and Ohio State present the most interesting scenarios entering championship weekend, with the potential to cause the most difficult decisions for the 13-member selection committee. The champions of the ACC and SEC are most likely locks, and if Wisconsin and Oklahoma win the Big Ten and Big 12 title games, respectively, there won't be much drama on Selection Day on December. 3. If they don't both win, though, then the debate will turn to teams such as the Tide, the Buckeyes, and perhaps other contenders. Hey, race a look at three scenarios that could play out on Championship Weekend. The ACC loser, whether it be Miami or Clemson, would have two losses, and it is a stretch to think the committee would reward a two loss conference runner up. Miami would likely be out riding a two-game losing streak, but Clemson could at least make a case with its seven wins against teams above .500. Four of those opponents have won at least eight games, and Clemson could wind up with a win over the SEC champ if it's Auburn. The problem with USC is that, even with a Pac-12 championship, the Trojans' best and only ranked wins would be over Stanford, twice. The debate would boil down to Alabama and Ohio State. The best argument for the Tide is that they were ranked no. 1 or no.2 by the committee through the first four rankings in spite of a strength of schedule ranked no. 47 The Tide pass the eye test and have the metrics to prove it, they are the only FBS team to rank in the top five in offensive and defensive efficiency. Alabama's best win, though, is against no. 18 LSU which wouldn't compare to an Ohio State win over undefeated Wisconsin, or even to the Buckeyes' win against no. 10 Penn State Ohio State would have the better, are, some, but would the committee consider how consistently good Alabama has looked on the field and choose the tide? The best comparison for Ohio State's are, some, would be Penn State's in 2016. The committee is wrestling with Ohio State's 55-24 loss to Iowa just as it did with Penn State's 49-10 loss to Michigan last season. Don't forget, the two-loss Nittany Lions beat Wisconsin that year to win the Big Ten championship and it wasn't enough. It's a different year, with different R, some, S, but the losses and Big Ten title would be comparable.